So which one's correct? Trousers or pants? The answer depends on which side of the Atlantic you're on. Maybe we should ask the Chinese. They were the ones that invented them back in 13th century BC. In any case, whether you call them slacks, trousers, or pants, today's video, we're talking about the 15 types that every man needs to know about so that you can build your interchangeable wardrobe. First up, we've got the dreaded cargo pants. And I say that with a bit of love because I wore cargo pants for years. Made from cotton, oftentimes made with a loose fit. Cargo pants are casual. They have their purpose. They have their place. I think a man should own a pair, but be careful when you wear them. They are ultra casual. Next up, we've got drawstring pants. And as the name implies, they're identified because of the drawstring. This allows you to cinch the waist. So if you got a 30 inch waist or a 40 inch waist, you can probably get away with the same pair of trousers. Made from linen, made from cotton, made from synthetic materials. These trousers are going to be casual because of the loose fit. Next up, we've got George. No, I'm not going there. Sorry. Next up, we've got pajama pants, very similar to drawstring trousers, except in the choice of material. So they're going to use brighter colors, more flamboyant patterns. We're going to see flannels. We're going to see nap surfaces. We're going to see the use of wool to insulate heat. Next up, we've got sweatpants. We've got tracksuit pants and we have joggers. So sweatpants are historically the oldest style and these are going to have a very loose fit or going to have a drawstring waist or an elastic waist may have the pockets. Next, we've got the tracksuit pants. Now, tracksuit pants going to use oftentimes a synthetic material, going to have a very tight weave and going to be something that's going to fit overall loosely, although some can fit tighter. And what sets them apart is going to be a stripe of color going down the side of the leg. Next up, we've got joggers, a modern take on sweatpants up at the top near the waist. What we're going to find, again, they're going to have an elastic or a drawstring. Oftentimes, they're going to have pockets, especially with a zipper so that you can keep something secured. But it's as we go down the leg line that we see the big difference. Joggers are going to fit much closer to the legs and give you a streamlined look. Next up, we've got commuter pants, an interesting hybrid between sport pants and dress slacks. So when you look at a good pair of commuter pants, they're going to look like regular dress slacks. You're going to say, you know what? I could probably wear this with a sports jacket, wear it with a nice shirt. But then you start to touch it. You look at the details and you realize it's made from a stretch fabric. It's going to have maybe anti-wick properties, which these do. All of a sudden, you're going to go back, look at the pockets and realize it's got zipper pockets. You see small style details, which you wouldn't see on dress slacks and things like this I love in modern trousers. These commuter pants right here and the ones I'm wearing, which I'll show you in a second, are brought to you by Roan, the paid sponsor of today's video. And I absolutely love this company. All of Roan's clothing is specifically designed for the gym, for work and for play. So as you can see, I'm wearing Roan's commuter pant and let's first talk about the fit. So sizing, I think is true to size, just a really nice fit, but let's talk about the hemming. So Roan will give you free online hemming so you can actually determine exactly what you want that length to be. And let's talk about the fabrics. So first off, Roan spends a lot of money, four times more than most big box sportswear brands on their fabrics. And you can tell when you put these on, they've got a nice stretch to them, makes them incredibly comfortable. Now, another piece of gear they sent me that I absolutely love is the rain long sleeve shirt. And what I really love is the raglan sleeve. So basically right here, there's no seam on the edge. They've got it sewn right in here. This actually makes it easier for the arm to rotate when you're working out, when you're staying active. And I can tell you the drape, the feel of this fabric is really, really nice. Free shipping, free returns. Guys, I'm linking the Roan down in the description with the best discount code and deal you're going to find out there. Right now, they're having their best sale. They only do this a couple times a year. Go check them out, guys. Okay, so now let's talk about the big debate out there, and that is what is the difference between chinos and khakis. And the easiest way to spot the difference between the two is not the color, is actually going to be the stitching. So on khakis, you can see the stitching. On chinos, they're a little bit dressier and you're not, they basically do a better job of hiding the stitching. When I'm looking at a pair of chinos, what I'm looking for is these are going to come in a wide variety of colors. They're going to be dressier in general. Khakis, what we're going to see is oftentimes a looser fit. Khakis in general are going to be more casual. Next up, we've got our beloved denim jeans and we love this because it's so interchangeable. You can dress them up, you can dress them down and they are relatively inexpensive. Made from cotton, they are found across the world and it's just something that simply works in a man's wardrobe. This pair right here, non-distressed in a dark indigo, I think every man should have in his wardrobe. When you start going with lighter colors, you got to be careful, much more casual. If you add distress to it, of course, much more casual. 
Next up, we've got odd trousers and we've got suit trousers. And I want to explain the difference because this pair of trousers right here could actually fit either depending on one thing. Does it have a jacket made from the same material that it's made to go with? If it does, it is a suit. So, an odd pair of trousers are trousers that you can buy out there separately from a jacket and they don't have a matching jacket. Therefore, they can be worn with a sports jacket, with a blazer jacket, something made from a different material or even just a dress shirt or a casual button down. Next up, we've got corduroy trousers, also called cords. Very distinctive because of the whales. Whales are going to be the way the cotton is sewn right here and it's going to be either 7 whales per inch or 11 whales per inch. This one right here, 11 whales an inch, which is going to make it a little bit dressier but we're talking very small differences here. But another thing to note with corduroys is they can be dressed up, I think, even better than jeans. This one right here could be worn with a sports jacket or even a blazer. Next up, we've got moleskin trousers and cavalry twill. So, let's talk first about moleskin. Moleskin is a particular type of fabric made for trousers, actually pretty tough wearing and yes, when you touch it, it feels soft and very, has a nap surface but cavalry twill. This one right here is actually made to be worn with a blazer. Now, a lot of people avoid this because it actually has a synthetic type of feel to it but it can be worn in dressy occasions, especially with a navy blazer. And up next, we've got gray flannels. Perhaps I think the most underutilized trousers out there. Gray flannels are great for matching any type of sports jacket. Their nap surface set them apart from any type of dress slacks out there, made from a worsted wool, and I think should be in every man's wardrobe, whether in a medium light gray or a dark charcoal gray. All right, gentlemen, so we got trousers covered. Now it's about finding the perfect shirt. Check out this checklist I've got for you right here. I'm linking to it down in the description. This video, I go over over 30 items that you need to know about whenever you're going out there and buying the perfect shirt. And guys, don't forget, go check out Roan. Check out these commuter pants. Absolutely love when a company comes in and creates something that can be worn in a wide variety of situations. You guys know I'm all about fit, fabric, and function. Check them out. I'm linking to them down in the description great pants I meant or great slacks or whatever you want to call them. Commuter slacks, commuter trousers, commuter pants. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, guys, what they should be called. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.